That's right. They're in the studio. A couple of gentlemen from Arcade Fire, Wynn and Will Butler. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the, uh, I guess, well, for you guys, the midway point of the Australian tour into Triple J. You're going to play some live songs for us today, which is very good. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's nice to be in the capital. Yes. The capital? <laughs> the capital city, you know what uh, I mean? Oh, yeah. Have you, have you really traveled too much outside the capital cities of Australia? You've done too much? You know, just it's like just going to the heart of the empire. Yes. And what have you, what have you found? At the heart? Yes. Just blackness and emptiness. <laughs> that's, that's most empires, I think, are like that. <laughs> I don't know. But still, happiness and rejoicing, because uh, that song there, Afterlife, was number 54 in the Hottest 100. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Reflector came top in. Top 60. Number 16, yes. And <laughs> Reflector at 16, that's top 16. Yeah, that's yeah. the top 16. Top 17. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the first big question, of course, for you guys in uh, the country for the Big Day Out and associated um, shows, have you been accomplices to the breaking of any more noses um, in basketball games since Auckland? I had nothing to do with that. I was just, I was just a bystander. Really? Yeah. By, so you were standing on the court, though. Yeah. <laughs> More of a witness. Than More of a witness. Accomplice. Okay. A voice of witness. Right. A righteous voice of witness. <laughs> we actually, you haven't got to protest too much, although one suggests he doth protest too much. Mm. Um, we spoke to the gentleman of the broken nose, Sharif, and he, he didn't mind at all. Well, he's aggressive, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it was actually the last play of the game. The one time I decided to play proper defense, well, it was well worth it, I'm going to say that. <laughs> he gave uh, everyone that was playing a ticket to the big day out, as well as hooking up with uh, some backstage passes, and then... And the encore, Eddie Vedder actually gave me a shout-out, so that was more than enough consolation, I think. He was talking about Jeff Ament. Yeah. Well, Jam. Yeah, it was fun. We went and played in um, Auckland, and, yeah, we put all the all the kids on the guest list after. It was good fun. Very nice. And you, and they were up on side of stage watching you guys as well. Yeah. So so luckily he didn't mind the broken nose because it could have been dangerous. To be honest, I really don't think it was the first time his nose had been broken. <laughs> I know. You yeah. see, we, we saw a photo of him. He, he met Lord and they he all got like, a photo of Lord. Yeah, he was like smiling. He was like, oh, okay. Like, he definitely played some rugby. <laughs> In fact, he probably had broken it the pre that morning and thought, excellent. It, much better story if I pretend. It's potentially he broke it himself to try and get tickets. It's definitely possible. I don't want to say it's outside the realm of possibility. And I would like to suggest, if you are listening and you want to get free tickets to the big day out from Arcade Fire or Pearl Jam, don't break your nose. I don't want to set a precedent yeah, here. Yeah, don't dangerous. Dangerous press. Maybe a pinky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a pinky finger says Will. Hey, Gordo is on the phone. Another competitor. You actually, uh, you saw um, the Arcade Fire playing basketball down at Sydney Uni the other day. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. And, uh, and, and well, here they are. Say good day to Win and Will. Ah, good day, guys. How are you doing? Hello. Yeah, good. What was the, uh, like, uh, how, how were they? One of our co-workers came back up and said, he goes, oh, that Butler guy, he's actually got some good moves, you know. He's got a little, throwing a little spins in here and there. So they're actually quite entertaining to watch. We were playing with two NBA NBA guys. Um, Brent Barry used to play for the Spurs and uh, Argentine player um, Umberto. Yeah, seven-footer. It was pretty fun. Uh, didn't you win uh, one time, beat a San Antonio Spurs player in a three-point charity shootout? Yeah, one time. <laughs> and he's a professional. <laughs> how, did you go, how did you go on Monday? It was good. It was really fun. But we each had one pro on our team, so, uh, so they kind of guarded each other. This is a good world to live in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Gordo, you didn't get up and actually play basketball with Arcade Fire? No, I didn't actually. The main reason was because I liked the way my nose looked. Um, <laughs> and having listened to the radio, I was like, you know what, I'm going to avoid these guys. Plus, no uh, free tickets yeah. then. No. Okay, well, hey, Gordo, thank you very much, dude. Thanks for chatting. Not a problem. Dude. Now, um, Arcade Fire, in the studio, you guys are going to be playing um, some live songs for us today. Quite a large setup, although not as large as when you get to see Arcade Fire play live. What, are we, what sort of stuff are we going to be hearing? What crazy instruments? Acoustic guitars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like an electric guitar, but the sound comes from the actual instrument itself. It's like oh, a hole in the middle. It's beautiful. You can do, it's so very, how can you hear it on radio then? I don't know. I think the, it's something about electrons. <laughs> electrons. Uh, so yeah. it's like a... What, it's, it's like a, a traditional Pacific Islander instrument. Yeah. It's, very, it's a very oceanic mm. kind of instrument. I did see very large drums as well. In the studio, yeah. So, like, like marching sort of drums or something. Yeah, it's for the Imagine Dragons cover we're doing. <laughs> Is Kendrick coming out? <laughs> Let me stop. All right, I'm gonna chuck a song on when we come back. <laughs> when we come back, Arcade Fire are gonna be playing live for you. Three songs live this afternoon um, on Triple J and Win and. Have Will. you ever actually done that? Just Imagine Dragons, just when you're just sitting around, just like. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Actually, why don't we do it that? It happens for a bit? to me all the time. It's just like, oh, I've imagined them. <laughs> well, people would have it. I mean, yeah, I, I've, I would I've say at the very beginning of the dragons mythology, people would have imagined dragons, and from then on.
That's true. Whoa. So, so let's. I'm just. Good day, mate. <laughs> I'm going to imagine dragons for a bit, and when we come back, I'll get fire playing Just large. imagine them. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Oof, large. Fire, fire, fire is hot. <laughs> Triple J. <laughs> On Triple J. From Sydney, that is Thief and Broken Boy. Well, there are a lot of texts coming in from people, um, first of all, imagining dragons, as Wynn and Will Butler suggested they did, and a lot of people getting very excited for Arcade Fire, who are about to play live. Text me if you're excited, 0439 757 Jody, your mate Shelby went, but you missed out on seeing them. Yeah, my sister. Both my sisters oh. went, and I had to stay home. It was oh. depressing. Well, can we make it up to you now by Arcade Fire playing live, especially for you, Jody? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I'll tell you what you do. Imagine this, okay. On one side of this massive room, you've got a piano, got some keys, there's some guitars you can hear there, there's some drums, and then like, like a drum kit, and then there's all these big drums set up on the other side. Are you imagining that, Jody? I'm imagining it. It sounds magnificent. <laughs> all right. Well, magnificent it is, I believe. <laughs> um, it's going to be a very regal introduction to this song by Arcade Fire. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we are on Triple J. Ladies and gentlemen of Australia, Please welcome on stage the wonderful Arcade Fire. Thank you. Thank you, Australia. You're beautiful. A little bit sunburned, but beautiful.
ever so much. Australia Day comes but once a year, and though it is sad that it is past, together we shall face an uncertain future. On oh, Triple J, that was Arcade Fire Live playing Normal Person in the Triple J studios. My goodness, I can't wait for you guys to see the videos. They're so, so good. Lily's just texted on 0439 757 555. This is just the perfect thing to hear when I get home from my first day back at school. Uh, someone else keeping entertained on their way home from school. A lot of OMGs being texted. They're going to be playing more as well in the studio and these Australian shows are pretty much your first shows since the album came out right? first big old shows yeah we played yeah. a lot of sm small shows this fall yes our first arena our own arena show and now doing these big day out shows the first proper arena style shows since Reflector came out and possibly in three years with a whole new double album to I guess work out how to play live how is it all fitting in on the live stage well we know how to play the new songs it's just the old songs we have to figure out <laughs> It's been years. <laughs> yes. So it's stuff off Funeral and that, you're just going, how do we, who played what on this? Pretty much, yeah. There's, and there's a lot of options as well with a lot of people and a lot of musicians, a lot of instruments on stage. Yeah. Well, it's cool though. I mean, the set list, it's the first time because the, their warm-up shows, we just did one or two older songs and now we're kind of doing half-half and just feeling four records in. It actually feels really good just to all the different kind of places we can go with the set list. There are so many places because each album has added different feels and vibes in this album, especially Reflector, having the James Murphy grooves and that, um, would I be right in calling it like a sort of a, the, the rhythm changes, like the Haitian rhythm changes? Yeah. Well, we have the two percussionists on tour with us, which has been a total joy, even just in the simple fact of like they haven't toured in Australia before and they're just so excited about touring. So it's, it's easy to, after you've been touring for 10 years, it's easy to kind of be like, oh, touring is hard and you're like no it's not hard it's really great <laughs> that's great so they're the breath of fresh air yeah exactly for the hardened road dogs that are the arcade fire yeah well not exactly <laughs> but you know what i mean it's yeah. like it's it's good to just realize how lucky we are as a group and just to be in that kind of state of mind N not only that but i mean you're, you're also giving a couple of people a pretty awesome Right as well. Were they the same people that played on the album, on Reflector? Yeah, there's, there were a few different percussionists on the mm. album, but yes. So have you ever heard that cool story when you were recording Afterlife and you had like the percussionists in the, stu in the studio with you guys and James Murphy just getting this rad groove down that yeah. became Afterlife? Well, Reflector is almost live off the floor, basically. There's like tw 10 or 12 of us playing live at the same time. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So this massive, as dense as the other albums, but with this crazy dance groove was pretty much recorded live. I mean, not not entirely, but that one yeah. that one was was very live. Yeah. yeah, and this this comes from didn't Will you you think originally of James Murphy? Uh, he would be the hipster douchebag that you wanted to punch in the face and the balls at the same time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. Well, <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> We've already heard them play Normal Person live. We're going to be hearing another song live very soon. But there's some new music I want to talk to you guys about as well. Can you tell me what this is? So what are we listening to there? Very nice. That's an excerpt from the Oscar-nominated soundtrack to Her live on <laughs> Triple J Australia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I don't even need to, like, have those ratings. It's a tantalizing so uh, story of a man who falls in love with a computer program. What will happen? <laughs> Boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Directed by acclaimed director Spike Jones From Where the Wild Things Are. Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Arcade Fire first worked with Spike Jones, re-recording the... Wake I, I just, we don't know. You did first start working with Spike Jones working on when you re-recorded Wake Up. Yeah. And, and Karen O was, was there. That was a great trailer. <laughs> no, Spike came to. Uh, Spike was listening to Funeral a lot when he was writing Where the Wild Things Are, and mm. he came to a bunch of shows, even on the in the funeral days. And so we've been good buddies. And on the suburbs, we made a short film together that me and Will and Spike wrote the script too. And so we've we've really like collaborated a lot. So and he was up actually in your studio in Montreal when you guys did the Her soundtrack. Well, Part of the time, yeah, yeah, he came up for the for the end. Yeah, it was it was interesting because we kind of did it in parallel while while we were working on Reflector, which was intense. Yeah, very different vibes. <laughs> um, but it was it was a good antidote. And then at, at the end, it kind of all came together at, at the end. And Will really took the reins and helped because we'd created a lot of stuff. And then he and Owen kind of went through and kind of helped pull it all together. And and uh, I'm really I'm really proud of it. It was a really good for our band. I think even though it was really stressful at the time, but I'm I'm really proud of how it turned out. Mm. And and Spike says he's not sure if he's actually going to get a proper release. 
but we've got it as on the soundtrack. So well, we're 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 just slow as a band, <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, you have had other things to think about the last couple of months. I don't know. I mean, I, we're across the, the date line. It's so complicated. The yeah. music will get out there. It's just like a question if we want to sell it to people or give it to people or yeah. or or record other songs or whatever. Was yes, some of it is actually parts of Reflector re-recorded or without lyrics or something. It's not not much. I mean, but there are there are there are pieces, many pieces on the on the soundtrack that are kind of based on so- actual songs that we've never yeah. really recorded. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So little glimpses into the um, the demo catalog yeah. of Arcade Fire. Yeah, there's a song called Milk and Honey and a song called Dimensions that are you know, like lost great Arcade Fire songs. And, and um, they were actually just things that like fit the kind of world of, of, the, movie. of the movie. And then we kind of wrote them to to the film sort of beautiful well there you go on triple j arcade fire are going to be playing live for you up next could actually be the song which um arcade fire have been kind of walking out on stage to at the big day outs around australia you may recognize it so Blur pulled out of the big day out late last year. It turns out uh, everything's okay because you, you guys brought the Blur. Was that Blur? <laughs> I don't... They were wearing bobbleheads. I don't know who was in that band. I always thought that was an Oasis song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're, we're, we've actually played... Um, we played with Damon last time we were a big day out with Good, the Bad and the Queen mm. and um, like him a lot and yeah. like that band a lot. Just just taking the piss, as they say. That's what you got to do. You're in Australia. That's what yeah. you do. Have you heard Damon's new stuff? He started launching new solo songs last week. No, but I'm sure it's great. I mean, he's got pretty impeccable taste. Mm. It's, it is, it's kind of good, the bad, and the queen-esque, I say. There's one song we've heard, Everyday Robots. It's, it's nice. It was. We met Paul Simonon with him last time. It was like The Clash is probably one of our biggest inspirations, and it was really, really great. I mean, The Clash are just one of those bands that you kind of, when you ever want to get a perspective on how mm. it's going, you're like, okay, what would the Clash do in this in this situation? <laughs> but I guess in some cases, one of their guitarists would leave and form Big Audio Dynamite too. Yeah. So is that going to happen at some point? A member of Arcade? Well, I think their whole band was only together for four or five years or something. <laughs> so we're already we're already doing pretty good. At one point, you need Don Letts to introduce you to reggae. That happened to the Clash as well. At one point, we had yeah. Don Letts DJ our show in London. Actually, oh, so you've done that, <laughs> which he did. He used to do at Clash gigs yeah, as well. Exactly. <laughs> you guys are like the Clash. Just from the other side of the thing. and Just double, just double older. staff. Double the staff and older. <laughs> okay, then, you old, decrepit gentlemen. It's time to get back onto your instruments. The Arcade Fire are in the studio. As you can hear, they're getting ready to play another tune. I believe this one may start off with a little bit of a punk rock feel. This is Joan of Arc, live by Arcade Fire on Triple J. Like you now, everything that goes away will return somehow. They're the ones that spit on you because they got no heart. But I'm the one who follow you. Don't want Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, Triple J, that was uh, more live music from Arcade Fire in the studio at Triple J. The news is up next, and um, then we're going to hear some more and win and will. We're going to hear another live song from you guys after the news. We love live music. We love the news. We can do traffic, too. Just little traffic reports. There's a stoplight that's turned red in Chinatown. <laughs> it's turning green in about eight seconds. Some Four. Tra- it appears three, to be a kangaroo two, 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 on oh, the there interstate. We got the kangaroo on here. We don't have interstates. <laughs> so you've, you've, you've belied your North American origins there. There appears to be a drunk man in a kangaroo outfit who still thinks it's Australia there, Day. There we go. <laughs> Happy Australia. Triple J. Even that too. Hey, you're listening to Triple J with the Doctor and Win and Will Butler from Arcade Fire. You are very, very excited. A lot of texts coming in. Jake in Swan Hill, Michael in Cockatoo, Mel in Melbourne. Ben from Wollongong is staying late at work to hear the very last live track from Arcade Fire. Well, it's coming up soon. We've got to go down. The song that came in at number 16 in the Hottest 100 last Sunday, Reflector. Win and Will Butler in the studio. Gentlemen, it's pretty amazing when we first heard it. How do you guys still feel when you hear, like, David Bowie singing that part of <laughs> Reflector? Like, what does it feel like? I wonder how he's doing. <laughs> Has it been a while? Have you not chatted in a while? No, we, we email, but, you know, just wonder how he's doing. Hope he's doing okay. <laughs> Imagine Bowie. <laughs> imagine, imagine Bowie on a dragon riding a dragon oh that's actually shockingly easy to do that's easier than just imagining Surely, a dragon yeah, yeah I found that easier than imagining a dragon <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> was it in Labyrinth that he did that yeah I'm pretty sure he oh did. yeah so it's not ima- just remember <laughs> remember <laughs> Bowie we got we uh, a couple of us here at Triple J um, when we first heard Reflector we started playing this little game tell me if you do it as well um, whenever anyone in, in the office says anything in a normal conversation that rhymes with the word Reflector mm-hmm. like where's where's our music director someone else will just yell out it's just a Reflector <laughs> for any anything at all that you, you know, yeah we don't do that okay but... yeah, that's fine that's fine it's just, like because you can do it for anything you do it for like has anyone seen the overhead projector yeah and then you know it's just, just a Reflector you can see yeah, yeah. You can see uh, where that goes. Yeah, there's plenty more. Like, we played that? that with Bowie all the time, all day. <laughs> Thank you. That's the grab I wanted. That's, that is the, that's the pool quote for the interview. Here, here is some live, sorry, new music from Danny Brown. They're going to fire the music director. Live, uh, live brand just, music. It's just a reflector. There you go. On Triple J, Wynn and Will Butler in the studio. Live music coming up really, really soon. Lots and lots of texts. Very people, people very, very stoked hearing live music on Triple J. Kate from Bendigo, psyched for Arcade Fire. Saw them on Wednesday. They were spectacular. Very, very nice. A lot of people stoked about the Hottest 100 too. A two-man party down at Isleden Caravan Park. Love hearing Arcade Fire getting in. Oscar says, uh, showing once again, the Canadians do it best. I mean, you're not technically Canadian, so... Yeah. We're residents. North American. North American, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Northern yeah, Hemisphere, let's just say the Northern Hemisphere does Fair it best. Fair enough. Um, but well, speaking of, I guess, well, you, where you were when you first started growing up, you guys are sons of another musical legend, um, Liza Ray Butler. Correct. I was just reading about Liza, your mother, playing the jazz harp, sang with Frank Sinatra. Yeah. What a world to grow up in. Yeah. And our, yeah. Gr- our grandpa Alvino led a big band and I, we were going through his stuff and I found a picture of, you know, like him with Duke Ellington and, um, and you know, he played with like all the greats back in the day. Wow. And, and, uh, Didn't our- he also help develop the electric guitar in some way? Yeah, he ended up having the original prototype of the first electric guitar. Man. <laughs> That is very, very good. Your, your mother did say um, the highs can be very high when you're at the Grammys, um, when you're sitting next to David Byrne or Peter Gabriel sends your grandchild a mobile. <laughs> it's a beautiful mobile too. It's like the coolest mobile I've ever seen. It's now it's, cool. it's, not, it's not a mobile phone. It's an actual mobile that you hang in a, in a nursery. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. I may have misread that. <laughs> yeah. first time. I just want to get them started young with the texting. <laughs> Your, your mother did say, when you guys were growing up playing trumpets and clarinets, uh, she said that uh, Will was always a trendsetter. He wore garage jumpsuits and he had a pair of tuxedo pants he wore a lot. Isn't it nice that, you know, you got to this stage where your mum can just talk about what you wore as a kid in interviews? That's great, yes. <laughs> if by great you mean... Not, not great. <laughs> not great. <laughs> All right. Well, less, less about the, uh, the extensive Butler family. But it is pretty rad, like singing with Frank Sinatra playing jazz harp and photos with Duke Ellington. Your grandfather having yeah. it. That's she almost she she was almost booked to be the opener on Bill Cosby's comedy tour. Yeah. She was going to do jazz harp and then 
Bill Cosby comedy, but I forget what happened. When was the last time a jazz harpist is open for a comedian? <laughs> I think Zach Galifianakis didn't. Yeah, maybe <laughs> Joanna Newsom and Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> that does sound like something that would happen because yeah. he's like a, a, a I would, classical pianist. I'd be in the front row center for that show. That sounds like my dream show. <laughs> yeah. Except that then the support would go on for about four hours because Joanna's songs are quite... Actually, the last time we were in Sydney, uh, we, did, we sang karaoke with Joanna Newsom. It was really awesome. <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's rad. What did you sing for karaoke? What, what does Joanna Newsom and Arcade Fire sing karaoke? I think she might have sang um, Girls Just Want to Have Fun or something. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I sang Credence. Fortunate Son or something? Uh, no. Down on the Corner? No. Um, I'll, I'll keep going through the songs. <laughs> yeah, just say the of them all. Who Will Stop the Rain? Yeah, the maybe other. that one. Okay, go on. Yeah. <laughs> all right, no Credence up next. Well, maybe there is. Live music from Arcade Fire coming up. Um, one last song on Triple J very, very soon. Win and Will Butter. Hey, Win and Will Butler. The Butter Brothers. The bu Win and Will Butler in the studio. Butter Bros. All right, um, we've already heard two amazing live tracks from Arcade Fire playing in the Triple J studios. They played Joan of Arc, they played Normal Person. Uh, and remember, the video is going to be up after the show. We're running the camera over this. Right now, I think they're going to play something from their extensive back catalogue on Triple J. This is Arcade Fire playing live. My body is a cage. We're going to hear that. My goodness, that, that was from Neon Bible, the last track from Neon Bible, originally played live there by Arcade Fire, the final live song. <laughs> Win and Will Butler from Arcade Fire back in the studio. What is next for you guys? You've got um, the two remaining big days, uh, big day outs. Two big days out is the proper grammar. <laughs> no, we, 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 okay, we've, we've debated this because it's Governor's General. Because that's two separate words. But if it's a trademark, like big day out, do yeah. you put the, do you pluralize the? I will have two whoppers, junior, please. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone really use real grammar in in hamburger restaurants? <laughs> Good day, friend. I will have. <laughs> what 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 are your plans? You got two shows left for the big day out. What, what is there anything you really haven't seen yet? You want to see Adelaide, Perth, mm -hmm. swim in the Indian Ocean. Yeah. 
Check that off the list again. <laughs> <laughs> Boring. Oh, the sun goes down on this side. Whatever. Uh, in Perth, I saw the scariest alligator I've ever seen. I, I wouldn't mind going back to the zoo. It was really amazing. Mm. Gorillas. Not the band. <laughs> the band. Not Paul Simon and then Damon Elbow. What, um, uh, what about musically? Have you guys seen anything at the Big Day Out that you really want to check out or suggest we should check out in the last two? I've been to a couple of the major laser side shows, which are like pretty full on, like Trinidad, Bacchanalia kind of style and Snoop. And a bunch of us have been going early to see Primus, who are yeah. so genuinely bizarre and amazing. Mm-hmm. And Tame Impala. And uh, there's actually a bunch of acts that I still would really like to catch. You do, absolutely. Making them famous, I'd like to see. And what about um, for you guys for the rest of the year? What's What, what are the plans? Playing all over. We're going mm-hmm. to South America in a month, and we're going to Haiti. Right. February. Yeah, we're playing our own we'll show in coming. Haiti um, with just a bunch of Haitian bands during the carnival down there, which will be wow. a total mind blow. That's great. I was, it's like, here comes the night. That, mm-hmm. You're saying that was like a yeah. Haitian carnival. Yeah. So, yeah. It'd be, so you're going to see exactly how much like a Haitian carnival <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be really fun. Very nice. And I did see uh, Boy George tweeted a little while ago that you guys were going to record a dub version of Reflector. Now, I normally trust all of Boy George's music news that uh, Boy George tweets. Is there any truth in that? My six-year-old self just had his mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> that Boy George is tweeting about Arcade Fire. Yeah. That's good. Wait, what's tweeting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, your six-year-old self doesn't understand. Oh, this is gone. This is blowing my mind. All right. Well, we'll just wait to see if Boy George's suggestions are true on Twitter. Yeah. And uh, a very big thank you for coming in live today, having a chat, playing some songs. The uh, videos will be up soon and have a great time uh, for the rest of your time in Australia. Thank you. Thank you. It's the doctor. <laughs> oh,